Former champion, heavyweight champion, Deontay Wilder has come out in his first interview since winning the arbitration between him and Tyson Fury. Wilder uh, goes on in an interview to explain that uh, he wants, he's been envisioning the third fight and he wants retribution, he wants blood. But my question is, has Wilder just surrounded himself with more yes men. Uh, if you watch this interview, everyone in the interview seems to be kissing up to Deontay Wilder and uh, trying to put the Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder second fight behind them as if it didn't happen, which um, makes a lot of sense. You wouldn't want to remember that thing if it happened to you personally, but I can see uh, someone beating you up in a street fight and uh, some way you would wanna uh, get them back for what they have done to you. So I can get that part about Deontay Wilder. And I get everybody uh, trying to be positive, but it seems as if these are just Pure yes men to me. Uh, Malik Scott, this uh, new coach, trainer, or whatever he is, he, he just seems like he doesn't tell Deontay uh, the, the, the right things, you know. I mean, in this interview, I don't know what they talk about behind closed doors. And, and Deontay Wilder, he goes on to say it's like uh, he's a new Wilder, you know, he's a different person which most boxers kind of say after suffering a loss, especially your first loss. So uh, I think that may be the hardest one to, you know, to sum up uh, from a fighter from going undefeated so long, you know, I think you begin to feel like Superman. But then it seemed to me Wilder just went on uh, babbling like, I, I, he lost me. I didn't even know where he was taking the conversation. You know, he, he, he described certain issues and then he'll talk about something else. So I just seen uh, everybody praising him. You know, even the guy that was interviewing him was, was praising him. And then he says that uh, Wilder only trusts him. Well, of course you trust somebody if they just speaking highly of you. You know, every time you popped up and all your friends was running up to the car and glad to see you, so you would make these your group of friends. I'm not saying this to doubt or down Deontay Wilder. I'm actually uh, put in other videos that I like Deontay Wilder. But as a fighter, you know, I think you would have to surround yourself in the right place uh, from hearing the truth. You know, the truth hurts, but hey, I'd rather hear the truth to correct my mistakes. So if you're not dealing with the truth, how can you correct your mistakes? And then this new Deontay Wilder, uh, how is he gonna, if, once the fight breaks up, like all this training camp, uh, that goes out the window because the fight's breaking out. You have to, it's more of a, you don't really have time to think. You got to throw punches. And one thing I heard Malik Scott say, he said that uh, this will be Deontay Wilder's, I think, uh, fourth training camp, third or fourth training camp that he's going into. So if you go back when we were hearing like dates of, Wilder and, and Fury. So evidently, Deontay Wilder had their training camps for these fights. So I don't, I don't, I don't recall Tyson Fury uh, entering a camp 
uh, to really train for a while. I didn't know, seemed like Tyson Fury didn't really start getting in shape until he, I kind of heard about the AJ fight, the Anthony Joshua. But I, I just, I hope the best for Brother Deontay and, and uh, he, he, Deontay Wilder says that all the bad media, just as long as the good media has made him this person. And then uh, he, he goes on until when he speaks in this, uh, this soft voice, you know, like he, he's uh, uh, some kind of uh, superhero character. And uh, I, I don't know, I, I mean, what's your thoughts on, on what I'm saying about this, about uh, Deontay Water? And, and, and let me add that I'm not bashing Brother Deontay. I just think somewhere in boxing, you have to deal with the truth. And so if you're not dealing with what happened, how do you correct what happened? You can't just forget about what happened, you know? And, and I'm quite sure he, he hasn't forgotten about it. And it's, it's, boxing is very psychological. So he's trying to put that behind him. I get it. But we have a fight date. He, he said that we have a fight date now and, and uh, there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide now. Then he goes on to say uh, he wants to hurt Tyson Fury so bad that he wants to disfigure him to the point where his mother don't even recognize him. So I just think this is bravado, uh, trying to hype yourself up. So the real question is when after all, after all Deontay Wilder said, so say come fight day, and we get the same results. So Deontay Wilder is putting himself in a place where he almost can't come back from it because he's not dealing with it. So if he gets beaten the uh, third time, then what what do we uh, what do we say? I mean, what does he say? You know, after that, because there's been so much talk about this. So let me know your thoughts. You can hit that green button down in the corner, in the right-hand corner. You see that little green button? And uh, this is Boxing Opinions 100, and it's been a great day.